Kevin, my final question for you is, what are some of the recruitment trends that you have seen in 2021 that will continue after COVID, after things become back to normal? Well, based on what I was just talking about, we were just talking about uh, in regards to technology, the, that, so technology is not new to recruiting and hiring. And we've had ATSs for a couple of decades. We've had lots of technology in between. But the reality is, is that we, if you consider modern day neuroscience and what we know about um, ra uh, us being irrational beings, human beings, I mean, we're not, we're really not great decision makers. We'd like to think that we are, <laughs> but we're not. But technology is not going to circumvent us. It's going to help us make better decisions. So when it comes to sourcing candidates that you're looking for, when it comes to screening them, when it comes to assessing and testing them, and uh, and then getting to the people that I actually do want to talk with, if we are going to interview and eventually make offers to that small group and make those hires, mm -hmm. I think that those, the technology in recruiting and hiring is going to continue to play a very, very big role. I mean, with, with, with repetitive hiring, high volume hiring, as they call it, hourly hiring in particular, when you're hiring for the same positions all the time, there are, you know, organizations now that have have are using machine learning um, yeah. and and artificial intelligence to do most of the process yeah i mean from sourcing to the application to screening to make scheduling interviews if there is an interview yeah sometimes it might just be based on an assessment if they're entry-level positions that you're going to train for anyway and then you make the offer on the mobile device yeah and a lot they, of times, uh, yeah, a lot of time, Ken has asked me, "Can you text me the address, or can we?" You know, it's like texting also becoming part of the recruitment. Well, that's and it is. It's a bigger part of it too. And a lot of, I mean, there's whole populations of, again, of different kinds of workers. A lot of us, I mean, people don't have laptops and computers and, and desktops at home. They have their phone. So that's the way you reach them. And mobile texting has actually increased quite a bit. Ch chatbots, uh, the ability to ask questions about a company and its jobs without talking to a human is here now. We've already been doing it with customer service. Now it's on career sites. Yeah. I can ask questions of a chatbot when I'm applying for a job. What do I need to do here? I mean, it's these things are going to continue to be a big part of our experience. And as a job seeker and as a candidate, I don't really care about, unless I'm in the space, I don't care about the technology. I care about getting hired. Yeah. And most of us aren't going to get hired. So if I don't, the next thing that I, I appreciate is a positive experience and that it's a fair experience. And it's an easy one. Sometimes well, you know, when you're it, applying yeah. like nine steps and, and some companies just upload your resume and that's it. You know, it all depends what they're Well, looking. yeah, but it's got to be, but it has to be, um but it's still about my perception of fairness too yeah. so easy is great but if i don't if i feel and i feel like if i if i and that's hard right because if i uh, most candidates again that applied that's the end of the road yeah they're not going to go any farther they're not going to get they're going to get little interaction it's going to be automated messages that go out to them yeah. and um but the the that's the reality do i was it a positive experience and did I feel like it was fair? And that's subjective, but that's the reality of, of the, the candidate experience is that, the, and that's why employers have to be understand that the sheer volume of people that they're not hiring can impact their business and their brand immediately and even more so at times than those they're hiring, so. Thank you for those great insights, Karen. I really appreciate it. And with that, my interview to you with you comes to an end. Again, I enjoyed the conversation and I hope the listeners will implement some of the tips that we gave. And for the audience watching or listening, tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. And again, Kevin, thank you very much. And hopefully we can meet one day in person and continue this conversation. Bye. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.